Hi. Hi. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. 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 Sorry we're late. <laughs> um, I ran a little late at work. But uh, yeah, we're here. Yeah. We made it. So. 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 So tonight, how, tonight, what? Hi. How are hi. you, <laughs> my beautiful co-host? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just fine. I'm, I'm trying to get out of like silent cleaning mode and getting into like chatty happy mode. <laughs> chatty happy, not chatty Kathy, but chatty no, happy. no, 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 no. And Maisie's saying hi. Hi, too. Maisie. Hi. hi, hi, Maisie. Anyway, she, she's the co-co-host. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's actually running the show. So. She always runs the show. <coughs> she's the boss. She's the boss. Um, yeah. So, how are you? How yeah. how are things? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little tired. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. We have friends with us yes. tonight. We have friends. We have Mr. Mike with us. Mr. Rogue War seventy seven. Seventy one. How's it going? So I'm sorry. <laughs> My birthday seventy seven. That's why I'm like eh, seventy seven. No, no. And I'm still like going. Oh, and man. we have Beansy with us. What's going on, guys? How's it going? How's ah, it going? Can't complain. Can't complain. Good. And Mr. Pushing the Buttons Brink. That's right. <laughs> I love our man, buttons. our savior. Yeah, Mr. Brink. Mr. Brink. We don't know what we'd do without you, Mr. Brink. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like a catchphrase from a song. Yeah. You know. yeah. We should, maybe we, we should write a song. We should. We don't know what we'd do without you, Mr. <laughs> Brink. <laughs> mm. It's got kind of a <laughs> southern Brains rock vibe. operation. I think I'm just like I'm just like a a standard window dressing. It's no. like no, people no. People just ex they're like, oh, there's those curtains again. They're no. always there. They're always there. <laughs> no. No, I think you're no. probably everybody's favorite buddy. To be honest. Wow, wait till you get yeah. to know me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I think I think we all know you fairly well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what's everybody working on tonight? What are you doing, Mike? What are you doing? Um, working on my double cyclops. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, looks like that's me, pretty. <laughs> I got a coat, a couple coats of base brown, and I did a black wash on it. And I'm gonna do some uh, dry brushing here and there. Wow. Heck yeah! Got all of his other joints all painted up. <laughs> The I quicker got, you uh, make that not look like poop on a stick, the better. <laughs> yeah, it did look kind of fudgy, didn't it? Just a little. It was one of them. Mm, fudge. It's a chocolate two-headed cyclops. Yeah. It did turn out a little bit darker than I had kind of thought, but that's okay. It'll, it'll right. change once you do highlights and stuff. Is it oh, hollow yeah. like an Easter bunny? <laughs> That's yeah. my question. It's pretty delicious looking, actually. Or is it filled with delicious yeah. peanut butter? Been figuring out what color to do with boots. Ooh, oh, those are yeah. nice. Those are very nice. I was thinking bare feet, but I used them from a an ogre builder, so may as well use those parts. Right. <laughs> what about you, Beansy? What are you working I on? I am working on, I'm customizing a solo Chewbacca. So I have an idea of doing my own Star Wars crew. So I'm giving him an eye patch with some green stuff. Um, yes. I'm going to add some braids. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to make him an old Wookiee as opposed to this young, uh, this young felt Chewbacca from solo. Sweet. I mean, he's, how old was he in that? I forget. Like 200? Yeah. 275. <laughs> <Yep. know. laughs> yeah, he was he was young by Wookiee Wookie years. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. Doing a little bit of green stuffing. Um, 
to just try to add some flair, mm-hmm. as the kids say. Um, gonna attempt to make some braids, like I said. Like I'm going for like a real Viking kind of Star Wars vibe. So it's a cruise. So you're gonna have the minimum 15 pieces of flair, or are you? Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go- try. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to give it extra flair because I don't want to be known as a flair phone inner. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it upright. You know, I don't want to do I don't want to do just the minimum. Right, right. That's good. That's good. Just no Wookie goat, okay? <laughs> no Wookie goat. Yep. We can't can't do okay that for the bat wings or. <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah, you're right. Yep, <laughs> two different movies, but in the same oh, genre. Right. It's okay. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Sorry, you, you lost me. I was like, oh. And I was like, "Oh, the goat!" Oh, that was my fault. It's very much. It's okay. The same I, genre. I, I, yeah, like, I got very, lost there for a minute. It's all right. <laughs> but you had a long work day, sir. I did. Oh. It's cool. Yeah. I forgive you. Just this one time, Mr. Brian. <laughs> oh. What are you? What are you working on? on? <laughs> I'm working on spreadsheets. Spreadsheets. Spread cheeks. Spread and cheeks. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Spread and sheets and clapping cheeks. Brian Brink. And that is yeah. Whoa. Oh. the mayor. Oh. <laughs> the legend. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. That's pretty. Everybody's doing cool stuff. Yeah. What about you guys? What are you working on? I'm waiting for my sculpture to dry before I can continue with that. But oh. I have I have walls I have to carve. I have stones I need to work on. So this guy here is gonna get some love. Look at that wood. Look at the wood. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be working on carving the stones into that. Nice. Hey we have a first time watcher tonight, Greg T. First time watching right. live. What's up, Greg? Oh. What's going on, Greg? Dude, it's much Yo, thanks for tuning in. And Time. welcome, everybody. Thank you yeah. all for uh, tuning in. Time to learn some tricks. Yep. Drew Grubbs is in. Frankie Prime. Yeah. E Prime. Ian's like in. Frank. I'm just going to say something about E. He gave right. me shit about the. Uh, the bread in a can, man. Don't <laughs> knock it till you tried it <laughs> first. First, and secondly, like that dude could be on here because he does some pretty amazing work. Yeah, so yeah. even though EE e. hates on the bread in the can, which he's never fucking tried, he is a talented, talented dude. And I just wanted to give him a little shout out. It's all about love. Yeah, yeah. he is a talented dude. Right. I told Kim about that bread in a can, and I was like, kind of laughing as I was saying it. And she goes, "Oh, I've had it. It's actually pretty good." Wow! Like, See? Wow! <laughs> when <laughs> okay. I went to the grocery store this weekend, <laughs> I I went down the baked beans aisle, and I looked for it, Beansy, and I didn't see no bread in a can. <laughs> I'll send you some, Brink, if you give me your address. Because I saw <laughs> it the other day. Do you prefer? Do you like raisins or non raisins? Oh man, raisin yeah. bread in a can. Yeah, I would, I would go I, for raisins. I would try that shit personally. Okay, fucking trash. looks like I'm buying some bread in a can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can ship it out better than fucking Walmart or fucking Target. <laughs> Get my pre-orders in line. <laughs> so, uh, so, so Ian's like, "What did I miss? Bread in a can?" Ian, you gotta watch the show yep. from two weeks ago. Oh god, it was a riot between the uh, what. Papa John's and the snake bread. eyes and the fucking bread in the can. It was worth a show <laughs> <for> that part. <laughs> Hell yeah. <clears throat> but the key doing? the key with the bread in the can, and everyone's like, why does this motherfucker keep talking about bread in the can? I want to <laughs> learn how to paint some shit. <laughs> that that's how I do. Um, you have to have it with baked beans and like uh, you know, a, a nice kielbasa. Not that cheap shit. You got to go out and get like some real deal Polak shit. And then you enjoy your your baked beans, some spicy mustard, maybe some kraut, a little bit of horseradish, and you just enjoy it as a whole. 
Hmm. So let me ask you something. Um, so my kielbasa mm -hmm. comes from Hillshire Farms. Um, I do not have like gourmet kielbasa in my grocery store. So when you say like the real Polish stuff, you mean like go to a butcher shop? They got it there. Yeah, if you go to a, if you go to a good butcher shop, you live in Delaware, right, Brian? Yeah, we have a couple po butchers around here. Polacks don't fuck with Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't. They can't seem to break that Jersey border to come. Down no, here. no. Um, yeah, any any decent butcher shop, any decent butcher shop will have it. I'd call around, and there's like a million different kinds. Like I have a plate spot right around my hut, right near my house. They sell garlic. They've got like hunters. They've got smoke. They've got fresh. They've got whatever. And like yeah, I can. Yeah, because 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 the whole thing with kielbasa is it's smoked. That's what gives it. You know, it's like a smoked ham. Like a fresh ham is just pork. So yeah. like it, fresh kielbasa, just like some Brian, kind of bland pork sausage. I wish I could ship you kielbasa because like they, <laughs> um, there's a, a grocery stores around here. They they make it themselves a lot of the time. Uh -huh. And and where I get like. The bologna <laughs> that, <laughs> that Dust loves so much. They they make all their own sausages there from kielbasa to like chicken, apple, like homemade stuff. Like the, the fancy shit. Yeah, yeah. Fancy shit. Yeah. That fancy shit. Shipping sausage. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So what are you working on, JD? Um He's not sure yet. He's making decisions. I'm making decisions. Moment. I'm thinking <laughs> uh, I have to alter this uh, post, but I'm thinking Hammer I'm time? Paint, oh. I'm going to paint this little guy up. Oh, nice. This little rat. Skaven man. Rock rat. I thought maybe we'd do this. <laughs> oh, hey. yes. That's what Thanksgiving's going to look like. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's all right, though. All right. Yeah. I think I'm, that's what I'm going to do tonight. You're going to do the rat? I think I'm going to do the rat. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, that's actually one of the armies I play in uh, Warhammer. It's their okay. medieval setting. They have a, it's like, they're called the Skaven, and they're just a race of rat people. Whoa. Yeah. It's Green and gnarly. Nice. Or. Green or purple, huh? Yeah. Frank wants to see a green or purple mohawk on that rat. Well, I think we can do that. <laughs> It might have to be green. I don't know if I have any yeah. much. I don't think I have much purple going on. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a green mohawk. I mean, that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So, do you want to show any of the okay. original? So, how it starts? Yeah, this is how it starts. I don't know if we can camera right here. So that's that's just the printed resin, you know, before it's been primed. I washed it. And then it gets washed. And my lovely assistant uh, in the clutch makes sure everything's set <laughs> while I'm not here. Nice. And she primes it. Nice. <clears throat> So, yeah, that's that. Um, before we get started here, I am going to alter this post. That way he's not really slipping around. Uh, Frank wants to know how it smells. <laughs> hmm, like paint fumes. It smells like some... So, Jay, nice. what kind of body would you put this on? Uh, probably like uh, 
goblin, maybe? maybe? Yeah, probably goblin. a goblin. Red goblin. A rad goblin, yeah. I know that's not what you said, but... That's what you chose to hear. That's what I chose to hear, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, is there is there a big market for... Um, you know, I'm I'm in a couple of the Legion groups, and is there a, is there a big demand for custom heads and stuff? It seems like that's you and Mike is you know feel free to jump in too, Mike. Um, it seems like it's kind of a, a like an upcoming thing. Um, there are a lot of um, sculptors and casters and um, 3D printers. Um, a lot of people are getting into it. Yeah, a yeah. lot of people are getting into this. Alex just got a printer, and he's already bammed out some cool stuff. Right. Alex. Right. Nice and secure. I got a personal addiction to my action figure customs. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I need, to, I need to shout that out quick before we go any further. Um, these parts are courtesy of my action figure customs. Um, at the end of the show, I will be giving this away. So there will be uh, some some trivia, so to speak. Nice. To put your uh, Mythic Legion's thinking caps on. Do we get a try? Um, <laughs> you're on the show, so. Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, you're exempt. I'm sorry. Mike, Mike I mean, if you want to hop that. out, that's... No, I'm sure. No, I don't want to hop out. <laughs> so, that's that. But... We, yeah. need, we need you, Mike, to balance my fucking insanity and my obsession <laughs> with bread in a can. <laughs> that's just fucking hilarious, man. <clears throat> if I see that's... that in the store somewhere, I'm just going to start busting up laughing thinking about it. <laughs> I, and to be fair, I haven't had it. I... Probably close to 15 years. So it could be absolute garbage and it's just the nostalgia memories of it. You know, and I'll se send it to all you guys and you guys will be like, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sending us this shit. <laughs> all right. So I guess without further adieu. We will get started on this paint. So, actually, what do I want to use? Dark. Start with a dark brown. Keep that handy because I'll need it. <clears throat> so, do you have the primer handy? Nope. Or is it downstairs? No, it's what right you used? It's okay. Right just so I can show everybody what I used. Yeah. <clears throat> I just use, I used this one when I left the other. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. So, yeah. so this is what I use Army Builder, uh, color primers. This is uh, necrotic flesh. Oh, scary. Yeah. So, I just like to point one thing out, JD, if he, if I can. Sure. Never use cheap primer on these pieces. No. I nope. did that uh, not too long ago. I used some stuff I bought at Walmart. And it was just a regular old cryon primer paint combination. Painted up a bunch of pieces, and the paint never dried. Like in four days, I had to strip it all back off again. Yep. So. It's worth that. it's worth paying a little bit more for a good primer like that. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit screwing up something. <laughs> yeah. Happens. That's the learning process, you know. Yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna use <clears throat> Rhinox hide as my base. I have that Rhinox card. maximize. Yes. Absolutely. Um, 
again. I'm nice and thin. There's a fucking hair in my brush. Get out of there. So. Yeah. I'm just going to give this guy a nice coat. What size brush do you typically use, JD? I don't know this size. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I'd tell you, but the all the lettering is uh, worn off. off. Yeah. Let's see if one of these has it on it. Nope, that one's all rubbed off. You say round nine. Okay. Five. I just feel like I feel like <laughs> that's a common mistake that people make is they go with these super teeny tiny brushes. And yeah. It's like it's like you know you want to use the biggest brush that you feel like you can get the most control with, especially when you're getting to your final steps. <clears throat> EE Prime says, so you don't have to water down yeah. the base coat? Question mark. So I'm probably... Uh, yeah, I am. I'm doing it as I go here. Hence my paper towel here. Um, yeah, dipping in the water. One of the paper towel. After I dip into the paint itself. Um, I should probably look into getting one of those wet palettes. I, wet palettes are a game changer, game changer. Um, especially yeah. if, especially if you're using, if you're doing like, you know, a custom color, and you, you know, it's like, okay, I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. You know, you just, yep. It, it also, it also thins the paint, you know, to a degree. Um, yep, I, I love mine. I, I use it all the time. Keeps it wet. He keeps it wet, as Rust would say, moist. Moist. <laughs> his favorite word. He would. It's, it is his favorite word. Yep. <laughs> he loses his shit. That's his <laughs> so funny. So much. He's not the first person that I've known that that was kind of a thing. Oh no! No, I know lots. Lots. It's in the top of one. It's one of the top words that a large percentage of the population does not enjoy hearing that word. It's just a word, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Oh. Yeah, he wants a couch. Riddler circle. We talked about it a long time ago. And a long time ago. Yeah, like. Well, I didn't know. Christmas time or something. Good grief. And we, I mean, it, it was it was more or less like one of those. Yeah, I want one. I want one. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, and then that was kind of like the end of the conversation. Well, we did kind of we'll, just figure out that whole process yeah, too. So we can make it happen, dude. Don't you worry. It's fun to figure that stuff out. I, I had fun when we did that. So now what are you doing? Uh, just giving this a base coat. A nice... So are you like purposely pushing it down through the fur? Like as deep as it will oh, go? Of course. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, I'm lightly dabbing it in here. That way, like my bristles do kind of make their way down into the details. Right. Almost like a heavy wash. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. I mean, of course it's a little thicker. thicker yeah. Hey now. Hey now. What do you say now? <laughs> hmm. 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 So, uh, how was everyone's day today? Good here. Yeah, not terrible. Not terrible. 
bought a new kitchen. You what? Bought a new kitchen? Yeah, kitchen cabinets. Oh shit. Expensive. Yeah. 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 Kitchens and bathrooms. Most expensive home renovations you could go I'm on. just glad that I can actually install it. I mean Kim will install it, but for their install prices, like oh, you guys are smoking crack, man. I'll fucking oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's where they get you, though. Yeah, because most people wouldn't wouldn't know the average consumer. Wouldn't. No, we got marble. We had marble countertops installed, and it, so it was. It's like one giant piece of marble oh, that kind of yeah. does an L. Mm-hmm. And wow. the guy was like, "Oh, well, you know, we can install it." And you know, he gave us the price, and I was like, "Or not." And I was like, <laughs> "the the price the price for them not to do it." I was like, "You know what? It it's not worth the fucking headache." You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the one thing that I'm going to definitely have them do. Because they got to cut right. the hole out for the the gas range top and yep, sink and yep. all that other shit. And they have all the tools. They have the epoxy, everything to glue it all together if they have to. And then right, I can. I'll do everything else. Yeah, that's the biggest key I feel with anything is like knowing knowing your limit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like knowing like okay, well I can do this and I can do that and. The biggest problem I see that people run into, you know, is, uh, well, I, I thought I could do that. I'm like, well, yeah. on what planet? Yeah. Yeah. I watched a home improvement show for a week, and I'm a fucking master carpenter now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any idea how many jobs Wayne and I would arrive, and, and this was the story the homeowners would tell? Oh, and- yeah. And normally it had something to do with like we would be there to do some drywall patching or to fix something or they thought they could paint this or they let their kids help them do that. And <laughs> yep. Bob Vila made it look so easy. Yeah. Uh, I've done a lot of that kind of work in my neighborhood. I bet. Like, oh, yeah, my husband tried it. And I'm like, oh, at least he tried. Mm-hmm. But like Matt says, you know, you got to know your limits. You don't want to. You don't want to try cutting a hole for a sink on a eight thousand piece of eight thousand dollar piece of granite or no marble right. or whatever, and figure out you got the wrong bit or <laughs> yeah. you know whatever. I've been cutting for an hour and I've only made an inch so far. Mm-hmm. Right. My limit is usually flooring. That's where I don't even want to fuck with anything. Oh, my girl loves flooring. She loves putting in tile like. She tiled the entire backsplash of our kitchen. And I was just like, I was like, she, she, you know, I was doing all the cutting. She'd make a little, you know, magic marker line there. She's like, there you go, stupid. You know, (laughs) cut on the line. Wow. (laughs) There you go, stupid. (laughs) Such a cute pet name she has for you. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a charmer. Like tile works pretty cool. No, she she kills it. You know she. I can never make money. I don't like speed wise, but I like doing it. Yeah, I'm more of a demo guy. Destroying things. I'd rather I'd rather take it apart than try to put it back together. I'm pretty good at breaking things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stick around long enough, I'll find a way to break this paintbrush. <laughs> I've demoed a few transformers before an accident. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's happened. I haven't tried to do tile work yet. It's not hard. It's just no. it's just a, you, Yeah, you got you gotta be kinda you know, you gotta have a game plan. Mm-hmm. You know, you you wanna you wanna cut you want to cut the tile the least amount. Like, so if you have a room and you, 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 you pick out your tile and the size, you mm-hmm. know, you don't, you don't want to be doing a million like rinky dink little cuts. You know, right. you want to, you want to put all your cuts along one edge or, or, you know, whatever, you know, however it lays out, but you want to try to, you know, make as many weird little cuts as you possibly can. Gotcha. You don't want to keep it to a minimum. 
my experience with flooring has been linoleum and I am not a fan of laying linoleum at all whatsoever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, she did the Pergo at our, you know, before we sold our old house, mm -hmm. she, she, she did a room with just the Pergo, you know, like a little foyer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the tummy it was, stuff. yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. You know, it wasn't bad. It was all pretty basic, pretty easy. Um, she does most of the home projects around here. Like I'm just kind of pick this up, put it over here. <laughs> You're the muscle. Yeah. You pick <laughs> things up and put them down. Pretty much. I pick <laughs> things up and put them down. Go get lunch. Yep. Go get lunch. Where's my <laughs> coffee, bitch? <laughs> I've heard. I've heard that more than once. <laughs> <laughs> I do a large portion of the home projects around here as well. Yeah, yeah you guys do awesome work. I, I, I was blown away by all the stuff you guys have done there recently. Well, she she does most of all the painting. All the painting, yeah, it looked good. Yep. I, that, mean, that, I, that I guess I guess I'm in the same boat as as Matt. <laughs> can you can you pick this up and move it over here? I don't know. Usually we move furniture and stuff together. Yeah. The only thing that is a hassle here is the stairs. Yeah. Are they super narrow? No, there's just lots of them because the stairs wind the whole way up to the third floor and it's just an open staircase pretty well. I mean, it's not open as some people would say, but it you can stand at the top stair and look straight down through the railing and see the floor on the in the foyer. <laughs> That's some omen shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you can like it you can follow like the the handrail makes like an oval shape down through the the center of the house. You know what I mean? Sorta. Of. I'll have to take a picture and show you. It looks pretty cool from the top. <laughs> well, I saw the I saw the Bobby when he did the the cribs. Mm. And it's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's really funny. A couple of people have seen that video and then came here and they were like, "Man, I I thought there was much less room." Like it seemed like things were just a little tighter in the video than they actually are when you're here. Well, right. Like, you know. It, TV adds 10 pounds. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All those that transformers looks... look fat in that video. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we guys have so much stuff, but it's arranged so in such a way that it's not like congested. It's just really, really fucking cool looking. I don't know about that. Everywhere. Yeah. Pretty congested. I, think, I think so. There's just, there's <laughs> just a lot. That's, that's <laughs> like that's now, a comment. <laughs> Are you guys fluid, as Mr. Pinkerton would say? Fluid? Yeah, like, do you guys get rid of stuff? Do you... Uh, are you... <laughs> I mean, we try. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'd say that's a no. I'm, I'm a bit of a pack rat. I would, I would wager. I'd say some things, you know, if it's absolutely good, especially if there's doubles or triples of something, we'll definitely yeah. get rid of extra. Um, sometimes it, it just depends. You know, there, there is still some organizing that we're working on, especially on the third floor and just, you know, I don't know, just, just trying to make yeah. it, make it cohesive. You know what I mean? From, from the time you walk in the door until you get the whole way up to the third floor. So. Yep. Starts with a little uh, Naruto. Yeah. Ends with Fist of the North Star. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. I mean, it, I it, my idea is just to kind of blend things, you know, like, why well, just yep. have this one thing in this one room? Let's put it everywhere. Oh, it's terrible. So the kitchen has like Star Wars stuff and Hellboy stuff and. Transformers fart, stuff and fart ninjas. <laughs> fart, fart ninjas, ninjas. Yeah. yeah. It's all about them fart ninjas. And and of course the the shelves in the dining room have toys on them because what else do you do at a dining room table? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> play with toys. Play with toys. So, yeah. yeah. What can we say? Right. We like our toys. Heck so, yeah, we do. What are you doing now? So, I'm using this Mornfang Brown and just kind of, it's a little reddish. So I'm just going back through and adding that in the base to lighten some of the areas up. Um, you'll see. There's a plan. I promise. Oh. And Miss Chan has to go to get Elijah. Yep. She's going to go get Mr. Elijah from work. How's his driving driving coming along well the pen dot is not um doing any tests yeah, they're, not, they're not doing any tests makes so sense the only thing they're handling right now are um commercial okay uh like all commercial sort of concerns CDL. I Yep. Yeah, like CDL and rig stuff, and then title transfers and uh, registration. It's all they're doing. So he's in kind of a limbo. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, but I mean, it will it'll give him time to get good. Get, yeah, to get good and maybe get a car lined up and. I have a car for him. He just has to pay to have it fixed. Yep. So. But whatever he wants to do. You know what I mean? It's yeah, his, right on. It's his, it's his gig. Mm, so. Dude, there's a season four of Seven Deadly Sins coming next month. What's that? Oh, the <clears throat> cartoon? Yeah. It's an anime, JD. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit this with the hair dryer. I mean, the heat gun. I promise it's a heat gun, not a hair dryer. It just sounds like a hair dryer. I'm going to try to find a ride. Oh, he's going to try and find a ride home? Mm -hmm. mm. Is his girlfriend going to get him? <laughs> no, I don't think he's. Quite got a girlfriend right at the moment. What's but, he waiting for? Uh, he's talking to a girl. Just he's got to just whip it out and show it to her and be like, it look. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't? Yeah, I know. Like, what the fuck am I being? Not, not in this day and age. No. It doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, you got to put a mask on it and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It don't up. need a coffin or throwing up on anybody. Take some pretty Snapchat pictures of it with some <laughs> filters with like little hearts and sparkles and shit. I put googly eyes on mine. That's googly nice. eyes? That's They're big googly eyes. I mean, it's yours. You might as well play with it and make it look like Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight, this is she, she doesn't watch this, so I don't give a shit. Um, my 17 year old stepdaughter was like, I wish I had a penis so I could just helicopter it all don't day. Don't get me started. Do helicopter. not get me started. Don't, don't, don't. This is not Thursday night. You guys don't want to get into this right now. <laughs> <laughs> but please let her know that I feel her pain and I agree with her. Fair enough. I wish you had a penis. There have been moments where I'm like, man, I bet that feels like fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm glad you don't have a penis. I'm right well, there. I'm glad I don't have a penis either. Yeah. I'll just play with yours and watch you helicopter and feel jealous. Huh. <laughs> wow! Right. I just love the wind blowing through my hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's hot. Can you helicopter me? <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. 
So what's that one? Bugman's Glow. It's Bugman's. a lovely Bugman's Glow. What are you going to do with that? So with this, again. I should be working. Sorry. Thin it down. You're good. And Chan, that wall's not going to carve itself. I know. I know. <laughs> Going in his ears. I'll Bugman's glow. Yep. Nice fleshy. Nice fleshy tone. I get distracted so easily. <laughs> Helicopters, <laughs> things of that nature. Yeah. yeah I know. <laughs> Somebody says the word moist, and all of a sudden I'm just off in some other planet thinking about other things. Uh, so thinking weird. about being moist, huh? <laughs> God damn it. Pay attention. Well, don't listen to me. <laughs> I just totally fucked this up. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. I it doesn't look like you did. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. Oh. I, was, I was playing into your. You're messing with me. Yeah. Damn it. There we go here on his nose. So you guys are both Mythic Legion guys, and I guess even you, Brian, you like Mythic stuff. Do you guys have an issue with there's no that there's no lore, or does that not even matter? Well, there actually there is. is correct. There's a little bit, just a tiny bit. They're working on it. <laughs> so there is a comic book. Yeah. Um, and then, like, of course, each character comes with uh, a little blurb. A little, yep, yeah, a little blurb. Yeah. So I wait, did you use the, the Bugman's first. glow on his nose and inside his ears? Right. Yep. Wow, that looks really cool. Oh yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. it it's a lot brighter on camera. It's not. It's really not that bright. I promise. But Matt, there's. Uh, I mean, in the in the uh, Mythic Legions Cabal group, I mean, mm -hmm. people kind of make up their own stuff. Yeah, no, and I think that's really uh, cool. That's what I like about it is there's yeah. no. You can do whatever you want. There's. You know, actually, you can't do that because so and so. It's like <laughs> just do whatever you want. Right. Yep. You kind of make it up on your own. It's but kind it's of funny. like. Go ahead, Chan. I was just gonna say it's kind of like uh, writing your own D and D story. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I think they're just kind of cool to look at. That too. Yeah. They are. Brian likes looking at the boobs. Ah, uh, not so much. No. Redheaded boobs. No, no, he he really likes the what's her name? Heaven's brand, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn Heaven's brand. Really? Yeah. She's no, no, nah, homie, right. nah. It's all about Juno the Crusher. That's what get I'm saying. Get the saying. fuck out. Get out of here with that soft shit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that hard bitch. She yep. Carry that axe and. Fuck so I don't know if up. anybody saw Chan's profile picture. Oh. Yes, yeah, I did. Oh yeah, that was fucking baller. I was Thanks. like, oh my god, look at that. She sends me like burn. fucking like 10 pictures, and I was just like, wow, why am I at work? Like, <laughs> right. why are you not like beating the piss out of me to have your way with me? <laughs> Why are you listening to Rammstein? <laughs> let me see that. Let me see her face. If she's upstairs, I can't go get her. Let me see her face again, Brian. I didn't know you had it right there. Totally want to paint that on the side of my yep. head. Oh yeah, man, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to get her down off a shelf and do that maybe next week. Yep. Maybe she's I'll do that first. for your birthday. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, she's the first mythic I that I've owned. I only own two currently. I own her and I own the uh, Mohawk Dwarf. No, oh, yeah, oh, he's yeah. awesome. Torgan Redson. Yep. Mm -hmm. Look at you guys knowing their names. <laughs> and then I got one, Matt. Is it? Yeah, he's hard to get nowadays. He sold out quick. Oh no, shit! Yeah. People, people wanted his bare body for customs. That's why. Yeah, yeah. I'm guilty for that. <laughs> 
So I'm doing a little dry brushing. Right now I'm using uh, Sylvaneth Bark. It's like a lighter brown color. It's very subtle. It's so subtle. Just enough to pick up stuff. Pick up those highlights. How's our chat doing? Uh, looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's see. Lots of pram talk. No, not yet. Not Where's Ren? Is he in there? I don't know. I didn't. See, I haven't seen him. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't I see him. I didn't see him last night either. Uh oh. Was he in there last night? I don't. I don't. Remember. He wasn't I Monday like either. No, no he was there Monday. I thought. Let me check the clipboard. Yeah, check. I don't have mine. I did. I wasn't there Monday. Horrible kid. I don't see him unless I missed his name. Maybe I missed his name and he got mad and now he's not joining the shows anymore. Um, KJ's <laughs> in there and Frank and Riddler Circle Drew E. Wolfenstein. P. Ferguson. Nope, I don't see him. Greg hmm. T's in there. He's a newcomer. Let's see. You have preferred primer for the resin parts. Well, Say what? he's not, he he's not dead. About. He was active three hours ago on Facebook. Okay, well, that's good. He says, oh. And then there's, I've never used Citadel paints before. Do they all dry that fast or are using heat that we can't see? Oh, yeah, so usually um, by the time you start your coat on one side and work your way around it, it's usually dry by the time you get to it. As long as you're keeping them thin Yeah, layers. as long as you're keeping them in thin layers. Um, when I took it away to use the heat gun, um, the that lighter brown that I used, that was still like... Moist. A little, yeah. It was well. It was, <laughs> it was, it was pretty watered down, just because I wanted it to sit in the crevices rather than saturating the entire area. So I used the heat gun just to kind of speed it up in the drying process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from there, I'm gonna use this long beard gray dry brush. And we're just going to gray some of this stuff. It's a little too much. Although, water, knock it back. Chocolate no. so. I, I hear somebody breathing. Oh. <laughs> Hope it's not me. It sounded like we were in a fish Sorry, tank. It's probably me. It might be the bird living in your beard. Am I in my beard? Might beard? Yeah. I'll have you know it's a raven, not just a fucking bird, Brian. Fuck. Oh. oh. <laughs> Never more. Yep. <laughs> you, you do have to love the citadel naming you know yes, absolutely. Uh, it all comes down to either one of their games it's either you know it's it based on a 40k reference or a uh um fantasy reference so mm -hmm. bugman we were talking about bugman's glow Yep. He's a he's a famous dwarf in their lore that, um, owned, that owns a brewery and uh, he had a run in with some goblins. That's how his legend was made. 
Let's but all, all all their colors are based on something in their lore. That's very funny. <laughs> Sam. I want <laughs> I can make them really metal for you, Sam. Ready? Ready? Brat skin flush. Yes. <laughs> Sam's on that death metal tip. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got here? Hmm. This one's called Evil Sun Scarlet. Mm. Sorry, I'll stop now. <laughs> you, you, you really need to be in a like a a death metal band, right? <laughs> yeah, call it COVID nineteen. <laughs> say, like what if like this quarantine like spawns new things like you know you had grunge coming out of seattle right what if like you have like covid rock or some shit like just people make up something new because they're stuck at home and i don't know maybe uh, somehow making music from empty hand sanitizer bottles or some shit <laughs> 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 Karen hairdos. <laughs> <laughs> like flock of seagulls. Just so <laughs> Karen's. Yeah. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Fucking who's that? The Tiger King guy? Oh, no. I couldn't make it all the way through that. No. Uh, uh, we, we didn't, didn't even try. start it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty Don't fucking bother. stupid. Don't bother. Uh, you know what? We watched it, and it was like we were in bed, you know, just kind of watching it. And uh, it's like, and then this happens, and you're like, oh shit, that's really fucked up. And then five minutes later, it's like something even more fucked up happens. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, the the main reason to watch it is just so that you can understand the memes that are floating around. <laughs> I saw the memes before the show. I'm like, what the hell is all this coming from? I don't need yeah, the I same didn't... thing with me. I was like, God, I guess I better watch this so I can see yeah. why everybody's laughing and I'm not. I didn't get it. <laughs> I'd rather rewatch Trailer Park Boys and not even deal with it. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to change your life. It might, like, if you're feeling bad about, you know, maybe some of the life choices you've made. <laughs> <laughs> or like some, something like that, and you know you're you're feeling kind of blue and down on yourself. I would say watch Tiger King because you won't feel bad about yourself anymore. Yeah. No. Going to Walmart helps too, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I I have to say I haven't been inside a Walmart in close to three years. Oh, wow, you're not missing nothing. It's been four months for me, maybe more. Look, because last time we went, you know, we go, it was later and it was probably like seven or eight or whatever. And we go and there's literally a hooker out front with fucking clear high heat, you know, no shame in that game, whatever. But <laughs> it looks like she had been put on rollback. Yeah. <laughs> I, bet, I bet she uh, was. One of those there, clearance aisle hookers. There were, there were, there were some miles. Miles. And <laughs> and they and they weren't easy ones. <laughs> hey, sugar. Yeah, exactly. How much? How much change you got left over? <laughs> <laughs> Could you get me a pretzel? <laughs> a toss your salad for oh. that change you got, and a pretzel. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> salad, yeah. Whenever I leave a Walmart, I always kind of feel guilty. I'm like, I, I should, I should go eat a salad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just can't. Handle I get that. It. Every time I walk in a Walmart, I'm just more disappointed in myself. <laughs> well, it's like, like I, I understand it. Like the, the one by us is, is real. It's, it's actually in Rhode Island. So it's even shittier than anyone you guys can imagine. 
Um, <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. <laughs> Mine's pretty bad too. It's They're pretty bad. fucking rugged. And you know, you got people who are like, oh, why don't you know? Like, we'll be talking about trying to get a toy. Oh, you need to go hunting. It's like, where, motherfucker? Where am I going to go hunting? Like, the the target by me is all right, but they don't really carry much toys. And the fucking Walmart, there's a fucking hooker out front. Right. <laughs> like, I'm good. I, Maybe just hunting for the wrong stuff. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I've had some very experiences at the three Walmarts that are very close to us. Like, you can travel probably 20 minutes in different directions and hit a different Walmart. And I've had some freakish experiences at each one. <laughs> Some homeless lady ran up to me. The one closest to our house, she w ran up to the my driver's side window and wouldn't go away until I put the window down and tried to talk to her. Oh Jesus! If we could give her a ride somewhere, I was like, I, I am not. No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't. I'll give you a ride to the afterlife if you don't back up a step. And then she. And yeah. then she me for a change. Well, do you got any money so I can get a cab? I need to get home. I'm like, uh, what? what? You're a Walmart motherfucker. Go get a job. Yeah. They're hiring. She was a pretty person, dude. She freaked Elijah out. It was pretty funny. Brammer says that's a very old rat. Yeah, we got giving him some. Because, I mean, it, it's like that wolf head. That, that I did, you know. There's not just one tone in the fur, especially for like a wild animal. You know, you gotta. I wish the camera was better though. But whatever. What do you guys use for your setup for this? What do you mean? So there's two cameras. Mm -hmm. What so we have? Yes, we, tell me. We have her laptop that we use as the main computer. Yeah, this is the laptop, <laughs> and then hi, this one down here is a uh, what's that thing? It's Surface Pro. It's my Surface Pro it's tablet. Oh, a tablet. Tab yeah. Tablet, laptop slash thing. <laughs> <clears throat> it's it's sort of it's like Microsoft's version of the iPad. Does it have USB ports? Yes. Um. Well, m maybe you guys can get an external camera for it, and uh, oh, that's a really that good has idea. more megapixels or something like that. Yeah, because uh, as everybody who uses Microsoft is aware, their ca camera app is awful there's really not much to it there it's so ultra simplified that there's nothing <laughs> there's not much i can do yeah. yeah they're not too like i've got a a logitech here i use a webcam and uh they're they're not too shabby and um that way, I would imagine right now what you've got the uh, some kind of weird mounting device for this tablet to point at the table. I actually um, have you oh, ever yeah. have you ever seen the tabletop easels, the little wooden easels you can buy at like Target or Walmart or that. you That's know. A cool setup. Um, so yeah, I mean you can get them at Hobby Lobby even. Um, and I just I I just put the tablet on it backwards, <laughs> so it's, it's facing down. But yeah, if you get the external camera, then you can yeah point it and stuff like that. But That's a great idea. I'll have to look into that. That way you don't have to have your tablet and some weird thing. It would be nice to have something that can actually zoom in on what he's doing a lot better. True. Yep. The camera on my laptop is better <laughs> than the one as far as showing details. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going back to our Bugman's Glow. I just did a little bit inside the ears just to kind of 
brightened it up a little bit, redid the nose. Uh, so we're going to go in here, kind of hit this flip a little bit. Oh, I see. Like the very inside of it. Mm -hmm. Get them all fleshy and gross looking. Yeah. Do you guys have a particular white that you like to use? Um, the reason I ask is I just opened a jar or a little capsule, or whatever they call it, of Citadel Base Corax White. And I it's started clumpy. shaking it. Oh, it's like a goddamn cork inside just flopping around. I tried oh. stirring it up and it won't it won't uh, dissipate. Yeah, yeah, the white the GW whites are uh, kind of crappy. They do clump. Yeah. And I've noticed di different batches of them uh, have uh, you know varying levels of clumpiness. If that's a word. Um, yeah. <laughs> it is now. Good enough. I, I usually roll with the white, but I add a little flow improver to it. You know, like uh, I don't know if you guys have any of that, it, or a, a little, a little, a little dab of water will do you. Little dab will do you. A little I'll dab will do you. All right. What's a badger paint stirrer? I'm I i do not even know what that is. Bramble, badger. What, what is it? A badger paint stirrer. Uh, badger is a. Um, yeah, that's an airbrush, airbrush company. company. Airbrush company. Uh, So you could you could get one of those and make it look like you're you're setting up a lab, <laughs> perform <laughs> science experiments on people. I do want to get an airbrush one of these times. They are they are nice. I have one. I use it to do a lot of base coating and priming. Um, so it's great to prime because I don't have to worry about the weather. I actually do it, you know, in my fucking hole down here. Um, and, and they're really great, you know. There are people who are, you know, far better with a airbrush than myself who do amazing work. Well, everybody's better than me because <laughs> I've never used one. It's just practiced. Yeah. Better just in practice. Just pick one up sometime and see how you do. Yeah. I used to build model cars all the time and I just pick out whatever rattle can look good to me and yeah. just. Mm -hmm. Shoot it a couple times and turn out fine. So this mohawk, I know uh, Frank said he wants to see green or purple. That would be pretty bad. What What do we think here? Anybody have any? Uh... You know what my goofy first impression would be: black with red tips. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty good too. Greg T says both, both green and purple. Uh, um, or go from dark green to light green. Anything neon, toxic, toxic green. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Let me take a look here and see what I have. I don't know. A lot of the colors that I have are more neutral. But let me see. I will be right back. Everyone, keep yourselves entertained here somehow. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get across the room if that helps. Sure. Okay. Do what you gotta do. I got a fart. Oh, um, That's why I'm really. Can you make sure the fans blow up this way? Nope. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you, did that, you did that last night. Oh, that blew it right in space. Pretty much. That was a rough one. So uh, while JD's away, uh, mm -hmm. Matt. Yes, how's, sir. How's your Chewbacca? So he's got an eye patch. He's got some braids. So mm -hmm. now he's now he's gonna get his base coat. Gotcha. Are you gonna keep him brown, or is he gonna be like a no? Gray, he, or? He's gonna be gray because he's gonna be an old Wookie. Old Wookie. Tired of tired of the fucking imperial bullshit. Now, does and, this uh, old Wookie have a name yet? 
He doesn't have a name yet, so I'm open to suggestions. Okay. You hear that, chat squad? Mike, how's how's yep. things going with your uh... good? I am. Oh. Goddamn cam hat. There you go. Working on the eye. Just got a little bit of white in there. All right. Kind of hard to see. I got everything else still. I got the skin a little brushed, and I got a little bit of dry brush on his helmet. Ooh, looking good. And then everything else, uh, I'm sorry to report, it still looks like a big old piece of poop, Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks better in real life than it does on there, though. Nice. Oh, wow. That's huh. about it. All right. So we, where are we? Back here. Back. So <clears throat> uh, Matt, uh, Drew says, call him Raucus. Ruckus? Ruckus? Like bring the ruckus nah, to all like these motherfuckers? Rauchus. Raucus. Rauchus. Okay. Rau Raucus. Raucus. True. I need a I need a phonetic spelling of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh EE e. Prime says, Oh, it's old and cranky, just name it Matt B. <laughs> wow. Oh <Man. clears throat> All right, here we go. Rackus. It's Rackus. Rackus. R, R A K K U S. That I kinda dig that. That that's definitely in the running. Is that you making all that ruckus, rackus? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking here. See my stones. <clears throat> nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, so these here, yeah, you can really see it. it washes them out. Because mm. they're actually a little. I bit... saw four shades of green. Yeah, but they're actually a little bit can brighter. Can... Does that help? No, it's still like. What are you trying to show us? The colors. Is that? Did is they that... just? Did they not? Bright... That way? Is that bright green one? Warp stone glow. Yep. I would go with that one. Yeah, I got that. And the two brightest ones are the Warp Zone Glow and Niblet Green. Well, the Niblet's like a dry brush, but... Well, that could definitely yeah, are, add a little bit of... Those are earthy. Like... And then we got these buddies here. Ooh, Ooh that purple's looking kind yeah. of fierce, I think. Yeah, me too. Which one? The dark? The dark, yeah. You'll you'll dry brush the light on it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Phene Phoenician purple. Oh. And Jean Stealer purple. First, I'm using this, Drew. I'm using an exacto knife first to carve them out because I don't draw them on anymore. Um, we made a fatal error. <laughs> One time, um, we okay. we uh, we drew the stones on with red marker. <laughs> Don't ask me why it was red. Um, oh wait, I think one of us was using a red marker and the other yeah, one was using, using a blue. blue. Mm -hmm. And we drew all those stones on first, and then we carved them all, and then penned them, and then painted everything. And when we got to um, like dry brushing the white on to highlight the stones, all of that marker like bled through all the layers of paint and I no longer draw the stones on. I just kind of like just figure it out as I go. So I'll pen it after. All right, JD, that doesn't look like purple or green. What's going on? 
No, I'm just just touching up around. <laughs> That's all. Now, the head's pretty interchangeable between the Mythic Legions and, you know, other lines. Is that is that peg pretty standard? Um, so the hole's pretty big. Um, so what you'd – essentially what you'd have to do would be um, – so my trick is you fill that hole – halfway yeah uh hot glue okay cover the ball peg with vaseline okay yeah and then snap this over the ball peg while the hot glue is still hot of course let it dry for you know maybe a minute okay pop it off and that'll like kind of form it so that it pops on and off and gives you like a nice snug fit, but not too snug. Yep. So you still can get some movement out of it. Yeah, and you can still take it on and off if you need to. Um, just kind of. That's a good idea. I mean, other guys like they kind of go all out and you know, sculpt the. the joint or they just use like uh tack yeah. so that it hey chan greg wants to see uh, a video of rock carving someday uh we get a lot of requests for that so that will be that will be something rock carving and band-aids <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, we're trying to figure something out. Quick. I keep muting. She stepped away for a minute. I think then those those heads came with little rubber gaskets, didn't they? Um these some didn't. Them. Some of them do. Uh, and I believe that on the website there is a little video on how to use them and how to fit it. I believe you just got to heat it up and whatnot, and then it'll slide over the peg. I just blow into it, get my like here, you know, you're wiping off your glasses or something. Yep. Yeah, it pops right on. So you can see he's like. His, his ear was chewed off. <laughs> That's cool. So we're, and I, I kind of hit the edge of it just to make it fleshy. But I'll I'll, I'll hit that with a, a wash to actually make it a little more uh, realistic looking. Yeah, the rats be fighting. They don't get along. <laughs> nope. They don't even like each other. Damn it. I keep muting the thing and forget to unmute it. All right. So what do you think first? Purple or do we want to make this like purple and green stripes or do we want like the purple fading into the green. I think the fade would look good. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say a fade. Fade so, would look pretty cool. So, like purple roots, green tips. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, for newcomers, like of course, watering some of these down, you know, thinning out the the bases and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
you know, that way you can kind of paint in layers. You're not adding a whole lot to goop up the sculpt. I also use these airbrush paints. These are already thinned out, so I don't necessarily have to thin them. And this is a brand new bottle. And that makes me pretty happy. All right, so. If it makes you happy. All right, let's get a little HasLab Sentinel watch. We are up to 11,360. Jeez. Wow. 33 days left. Wow. To the, to the graph. So, on tonight's show, we're going to, I mean, I know we're already started and all that, but, like, I'll be giving this piece away at the end of the show um, to keep our interested parties interested and whatnot. Um. We're going to do one in the mid mid show here, too. Oh, cool. So, a bearded skeleton dude here. Oh, nice. Rob. Um, Chan's going to uh, hit you with some trivia. I, I'm, I'm going to read this bio, and you have to guess who it is. Okay. Here we go. So, full name, spelling, all of that okay. stuff counts. This is a a, a bio of mythics. Yes. yes. Sorry. That was that's what People I was. People gonna be reaching deep. <clears throat> oh man. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read through this, and I'm just gonna say, I, I'm gonna I have to skip over the name. So I'm. Bear with me while I read. All right. Um, with direct ties to the great beasts of the first age, this character has ancient magic coursing through his veins. Coup coupled with the ability to speak and speak to the power of the animals around him, his powers are as all-encompassing and diverse as the wildlife of Mythos itself. Along with Durand Runeshaper and the High Council of the Basilia, this character has been instrumental in building the ever-growing mystical force that emanates from a magical stronghold high atop the ever-gray mountains. Who is it? You see, Matt, there is lore. Obviously, there this is. is Mark Singer from Beastmaster. Of course. Oh. Gosh, Ryan, how did you know that? How did you know that? Kodo and Podo? That's right. Uh, that's an awesome show. I just recently rewatched it. Um, I think it was on Amazon, and I totally never caught the beginning of that movie as a kid. So I'm watching. Oh. It, I'm like, I don't remember the beginning at all. And I was <laughs> like, wow. Oh, where those priests hang themselves? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like all right. Oh, it looks like Frank got it first. Wow. Frank learned his lesson from yesterday. Get that spelling right. <laughs> right at the beginning. And they got the apostrophe in there and everything. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job, Frank. Awesome. Blam, blam. So, uh, yeah, Frank, hit me up with your address. Um, I'll give you the option. I'll paint it if you want. Or I know you're. I know you're probably gonna want to paint it yourself, but um, I'll give you the option. Um. And I, I won't take offense either way. No. So uh, Shit, I'd have you paint anything for me, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let me know what you want to do, and we'll uh, get it shipped get it out to you. Yeah. Congratulations, Mister. Good job, Frank. Frank's Frank's kind of new to the. Um, the customizing game so uh, I know he's like trying to get in there trying to paint stuff and he's, he's yep. made a couple so yeah far. he did that he did awesome. that leopard did you see yeah. that one 
That was pretty good. Pretty awesome. So, so do you know who this skull with the beard reminds me of? Who? Reminds me of, and I always forget his name from the from Willow, the uh, the guard. Oh, the, uh, uh, General. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh God damn it! What's his name? At the sea. There's, there's that. What the hell is his name? I... It's like, I want to say General Trag, but it's not. Maybe it is General. No, oh, I can't I remember. That's Ninja Turtles. But that that's kind of who that reminds me of because his helmet looks like a skull. Yeah, skull. He's like handcuff things on the side of his head. Mm. <laughs> All right. I like those guys on that Beastmaster that like open their sides like a trench coat and wrap them around the bad oh, guys. The, and... it, oh, the uh, that at the end they help, they come to the, yeah. the city, right? Yep. Yeah, they worship the eagle that was his uh, one of his buddies. Yeah, I wasn't too happy, too too thrilled about those when I was a little kid. They kind of gave me nightmares. Yep. <laughs> Kale. General Kale. General Kale, yes. Right. Thank you, Drew. <clears throat> that movie streaming anywhere? I haven't seen that in a long time. It's, it's on Disney Plus. On the Disney. Yeah. It was um what did we watch the other day with Marissa? And then it showed up like right afterwards. What was that? I don't remember now. Uh, yeah. Know. What the hell was she watching? God, my brain is screwed right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty fried. Um, what are you looking? Yeah, for? whatever we were watching, Willow no. came on after, or it was like recommended. What the hell was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. It was. Oh, it's shaking. This is going to do it because it's a fucking dry brush. Um, no. No, okay. I'm going to hit this with the, the hair dryer quick because I keep calling it a hair dryer. <laughs> he looks so cool. <laughs> Wow. We're gonna give him some black eyeliner and shit. So, well, sure, it only makes sense. His ears look amazing with that bugman's glow inside them. Yeah, it was like super watered down. So, super thin. Right. Can can we like hold it in front of this camera and see if you can see if they can see yeah. it? Because that one's oh, there you go. Nice. That looks good. So we got the purple on there. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Can you try this one? Hey, yeah, Brian. we can try this. Brian, one. can you switch the cameras? No, it, it should be fine. Yeah, it's just a hell of a glare on him. He looks very white. He's shiny. He's a teenager. He's oily. <laughs> <laughs> oily. <laughs> cool. So before I do the green, I'm going to take Slaneth Gray. Yes. Oh boy. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's S-L-A-A-N-E-S-H. Yeah. Close enough, close enough for good. government work. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, it's a very purpley gray. We're gonna dry brush some of this across it. Sam wants to know if you guys hit your beard with a blow dryer. Nope. <laughs> no. Shit, air dries. Air dry it. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he says he has to every morning. Why? I don't know. He didn't say why. Hmm. hmm. Is that a is that a uh, toupee, Sam, or a beard pay? <laughs> a merkin. <laughs> a merkin. 
Morgan. Oh boy. He says his stays moist all day. <laughs> Just have Russ come over and take care of it. No, no, mine dries out pretty quick. Like I pretty much get out of the shower, rub a towel over it, and I'm I'm good. Mine mine takes a little bit to to dry out. My chin is that dehydrated that like the water just sticks to it. Hmm. My, my neck, my neck beard. Now, do you beard oil? No. You should, you should give that a shot. Mm. Let it, let it be. Let I it take, be luxurious. I take medicine every day. That's like about the most self improvement. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of myself. I remember to take pills that I gotta take. Yeah. She got fireworks. That was me throwing out tinfoil. Oh. oh. Sorry. Are you, are, you, are you snacking, Brian? No, it's just I came down here. I forgot to uh, just picking up, cleaning up a little bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am hungry though. Frank, I will give you one thing. Sandalwood does smell good. I will I will go there. Are we ready, guys? The green. So are we just doing like the tips? I think the tips. Yeah. Mm. Just with the dry brush thing. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, what does Ace have you got have prepared for? Next Wednesday for figure banging. Can't tell you. Oh, secret. secret. It's a secret. He's a secret. Is it gonna be that GI Joe beachhead? Because then I'll be mad. That doesn't drop for a while. I don't think. It? I oh thought... no, it's in stores, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I went to my Target and they said that. It... They can't sell it till August first or something like that. Yeah, it does have an August street date. That was after it took me twenty minutes to explain to him what the hell I was looking for. <laughs> huh? What? GI Joe? Oh, I used to play with those when I was a kid. No, my dad used to play with those. <laughs> okay. My weird uncle plays with those. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Do you guys think they're gonna do a spirit? Uh please. I think they'd have to switch I don't think they could do the the braids and the faux loincloth. No, you don't think? Uh it, it mm, people might get a little upset at that. And they're trying to, you know, play that accessible to most. So I, th I think they'll they'll do him, but he's gonna be, he's not gonna be a real callback to the OG spirit. Really? Like? Yeah. All right, let's get real here for a second. Give him up. Because having him look like an Indian is not mm -hmm. offensive because Indians existed. Right, but I mean, you. So, so you're in a military force, and you're wearing a loincloth. Well, I mean, they are futuristic military force, I guess. Right, but I mean, the OG one had the braids and the loincloth. Yeah, I'm on. not saying. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what he looked like. I'm just. Uh, I just remember he had a bird. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna Google. Freedom the eagle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was like one of my favorite figures too. Was he? Yeah, that was my brother. One of my brother's favorites. He had that big gnarly rifle, and 
that shot arrows. Yep. I don't know. I, I it looks like an Indian to me. Yeah, I, I just think it's a little too stereotypical. You know what I mean? Like, I think they could do do like, like give them like a you know a mohawk with some face paint kind of thing, and uh, <laughs> yeah, dope. okay. You know, I mean, and they and just put them in like military gear. You know what I mean? Not like this pseudo. I don't know. I, I was just thinking about that the other day. Like, oh, you know. I mean, it's not like they put feathers in his hair or anything like that. I yeah, mean, they did. Well, I'm looking at the figure. I don't see it. You don't see the little the little braids. Well, yeah, down the like. Kind of behind his ears, almost. I'm sorry, I said feathers, but oh, I can't really tell. These pictures suck. I think we'll get him. I just don't think he's going to be really a huge throwback to that OG design. That's all. I don't know if we can see that all that well, but oh, I'm digging. Oh, that. that looks cool. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah, that looks good. That looks fucking good. <laughs> fucking punk rock rat. All right. Now all the fine stuff. <clears throat> what are you going to do for eyes on that, J.D.? Um, I was thinking about that. I'm not exactly sure. Um, what do we think? Gloss black. That would look good. Or red, like a pinkish almost. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Frank hmm. says black with a red pupil. Ooh. Ooh. I kind of like that idea. Frank killing it in the chat. <laughs> Wins All a right. prize. My dear. Yes, this is white. Something satisfying about painting fur, I feel like. <laughs> I feel I feel like it's really easy to make it look really good. Yeah. How, how's that coming, Matt? Pretty good. He's like uh, almost three quarters my base coat gray. So All right. nice. Mm -hmm. So, any guys mess around with an airbrush, huh? Uh, I mean, I have a couple of them. Yeah. <clears throat> um, really, the only stuff like that I use it for. Um, if I'm stenciling anything out that needs to be painted on anything, yep. Um, I will use it for like, uh, like weathering and, um, like it's good for blast marks. Yeah. Yep. Like diorama stuff. Yeah, they have their application. You know, I've seen. Guys that are super impressive with them, like painting Warhammer type size shit with 
only an airbrush and it's like how do you even do that but <laughs> they definitely have their uses i like just being having that freedom to kind of prime in the house and not really have to worry about you know toxic fumes yeah or uh you know humidity or whatever yep yeah that definitely uh helps not having to worry about weather outside you can blend colors really nice too yeah, yeah that That's what I'd mostly want to get one for, I think. Yeah, mine's got a pistol grip. You know, it's not like the pen. So it's got like, so I can really control the flow of paint, um, which I like. I, I messed around with the, you know, the traditional like pencil kind of looking airbrush. Yeah. And uh, I, I had a hard time with it. Mm. Yeah, that's what both of mine are. It's more like a, a pen looking yep. thing. What's well, right in your wheelhouse, like a ta tattoo gun kind of, right? It's a machine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <clears throat> sorry. But yeah, yeah, it's the same sort of thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to be that guy. No, you're not being that guy. Get out of here. While I'm waiting for the guys to draw dry, I am giving the teeth a base coat. Stabbed myself with the end of the brush. The pointy uh, end. Better that than an exacto. Uh, yeah, you're 100% <laughs> correct right there. And I've done that. I've uh, definitely stabbed myself with an exact. Oh, yeah. It's not the funnest of times. No. <laughs> Usually right on the inside of a joint too, so it never heals. Yeah. Every time you put your hand in your pocket, it's like, yep, I'm still here. Oh, yep. Those fucking bendy parts, man. Yep. Oh, these goddamn little teeth. Making them yellow, little real ratty. Yeah, so I'm using flayed ones flesh because it's not like it's not too white, it's not too tan. It's kind of like, like a nice beige-ish. Yeah. I feel like it's a good color for some uh, you know, half rotten teeth. Rattus teeth. Yeah. Ugh. Or squirrel teeth. Squirrel, squirrel <laughs> rats. They're the same thing. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Squirrels just got a fluffy tail and better PR. <laughs> better what? PR. Oh. Public. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get squirrels at our bird feeders and I, I get pissed. My girl's like, they're cute. I'm like, they're fucking rats with a fluffy tail. How would you feel if rats are out there eating at the bird feeder? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So. I'm going to do... Black irises with a red pupil. Ooh, you know what? what? What if I do two different ones? Oh, two different colors? On the eyes? Per Give eye? Like fucking Marilyn Manson sort of thing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
give him uh, some shotting gun from from Naruto. Anybody that knows what Naruto is, you lost me. Sharing gun is a um, it's a power that certain characters have where they can actually see movements before they happen. Whoa. Yeah. That's a Jedi. K- kind of. So I got a Clone Wars kind of comment for you guys. I've been watching that. Okay. So th- why would you make the Jedi the heads of the army that's defending you from the Separatists? Like that would that would be like okay we're gonna take the police force, and we're we're gonna we're gonna send them off to this foreign land to wage this war. It doesn't make any sense, or is it just me? Um the the underlying reason for that decision. I mean, think think about that. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? I do get what you mean. Huh? You may go. No? Oh. What did you say? You do understand? Yeah, no, I do. That that kind of makes sense. Yeah. So like like you, you, you're setting them up for failure anyway. Yeah. Right. And I mean... <clears throat> not to give away spoilers! But, <laughs> you know, the Emperor, you know, he just wants to fuck everybody over. So let's put the Jedi in that situation, right? Right. Where, you know, you like you said, set them up for failure. Right. What are we Be- talking about? Because basically, they could have. I mean, if they're building an army, then they could have built people to run that army. Right. Well. Yep. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, but like JD said, it was. Uh, I mean the. The, the council serves at the will of the Senate. So basically, Palpatine yeah, just put them, say, hey, nope, we need you guys to uh, run it. Yeah, but so. wouldn't you think that is it hubris where you're like, oh, yeah, like we're totally not suited for this role. Uh, we're going to take a hard pass, <laughs> uh, you know, or, or was it just like, no, we can do this. We're the fucking Jedi. I do don't I think no I, I had this argument with Gary like a couple months ago yeah. I remember this mm-hmm. I was yelling <clears throat> she was upstairs yelling at the TV <laughs> that was going down <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was shut up Gary it's like stop, stop it stop being a dick <laughs> so, no, it wasn't like that. so Matt the, again it wasn't the Jedi who said yeah no we'll do it right so it wasn't hubris they were fucking asked to do it yeah, but but if I'm if okay, so let, let's let's flip the script. If you were told to do it, I should say. If somebody asked me or even told me to be like, all right, you're going to be in charge of this uh, six year old girl ballerina team. I'd just be like, nah, homie, you got the wrong guy. I'm not the guy. <laughs> well, you know, I I don't think your analogy is really all that good. Why? Because the Jedi actually are kind of like skilled combat people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but they're peacekeepers. <laughs> they're not like they're not. You know, they they're they're individuals. They're not like oh, like this is the strategy to take Kyber Pass. We need to have this many commandos here, and we need to deploy our forces there. You know, they're more of a one-on-one like negotiator, like peacekeeping kind of order. Yep. So why why would you think you can? Because they don't have the authority to basically say no. You can always say no. Well, then they're going to take away their nice temple. I know. Ask uh, Nancy Reagan. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to Contra Clan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I. I, I understand what you're saying. I 
I just think there must have been a Jedi in the back who was like, what the fuck is this? Yep. And her name was Barris Offie. You'll get to that episode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm only in season season four. And they are getting much better. Oh, that you fir- yeah, you that, that first season is, is, oh my god. Treacherous. Have you got Ugh. the part where they changed the animation up? Yes. It don't look like claymation. All right. Yes, yes. And some of the story like some of the stories are amazing. Like they'll have like a three or four story arc that's unbelievable. And then it's like like I just skipped all the shit with the fucking calamari. I'm just like, <laughs> oh. yeah, that shit's annoying as fuck. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I, th- yeah. I think I slept through a lot of that. <laughs> and the droid episodes where it's like, C-3PO and R2 do this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. I, I mean, I get it. They're like likable. Like they're kind of the trademark kind of characters. I, I can get it. It's just, I just <laughs> want, I want some stories, man. I unfortunately would take every single drop of Star Wars I could get my hands on. And, and really? Love it and, and be ecstatic about it. Yeah. And... That's what she calls my penis. <laughs> Star Wars? Yes. <laughs> or the Bontha. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I... So I've been thinking about this too. It's like they're do they're so they're doing an Obi Wan show, right? God, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. They're doing a Mandalorian show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're doing a Lando show. Yep. Yep. Like, at what point does this kind of become oversaturated? Not. Mm. Not for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I completely understand your concern, and I don't disagree, but. As long as, like, they kind of stick to, like, letting someone who knows Star Wars do it, Star Wars, yep. they'll be okay. Like, okay. Keep, keep Dave Filoni. Keep uh, John Favreau. Favreau. You know, bring the dude from fucking... MCU over uh, what's his name? Joss Whedon. No, Feige. Feige. Feige yeah. yeah. Bring him over. Maybe bring over Joss Whedon. I don't know. I don't know how much of a Star Wars fan he is. But... I hate that douchebag. So I hope he keeps his fucking <laughs> fat <laughs> redheaded fingers off it. MCU can keep him. Die. Give me Favreau. Give me yep. Filoni. Those are really the only two that matter in my book as far as Star Wars goes. Okay. Favreau, Filoni, and Feige. I think, I think that's probably the what I like about Favreau so much is that he wants to have like a meeting of the minds as far as, far as like people who are involved in movie making that are Star Wars fans. He wants to bring them in and involve them completely. Yeah. You know, it's not just a one man show. It's a, it's definitely, like I said, meeting of the minds. Team, yeah. Team. I mean, they're talking about a Darth Maul series. Like, I don't want that. Like, yeah, I'm tired of him. I'm not. Him and his damn, how many legs are you going to have? I, <laughs> I, I just I I haven't gotten I I mean it just started that where their Savage is going after his brother or whatever. Yeah, it it's that's... just like I am not fucking interested. Like the dude got cut in half. Like um, you this, you wait. Like, you... This part of the story is like some of my favorite story. Really, of all of that. Yep. It is all right. The... It's some of the best Star Wars stuff that uh, I think so, anyway. Okay. Hmm. I don't disagree with you. I think it's good stuff. And I agree with Frank. Taco with Titi? Uh, yes, him too. 
Did he do? Did he do Thor Ragnarok though? Yes, he yeah. did. Oh fuck that! Nope. <laughs> out, 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 out. I don't. I don't want. I don't want. I think can't be jokes. Well, oh, Taika did a, a Mandalorian episode that wasn't bad, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I just that Thor Ragnarok. I love Thor, and I hated that movie. Yeah. Absolutely hated it. Well, you know, at least he has. I mean, blah, 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 blah. There, there, there's a. There's a group of these guys all working together, uh -huh. right? So uh -huh. I think it might help keep some of the extremes in check. Yeah. 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 But I think I think that's why Favreau did it that way and pulled all these different people into it because he he wanted that balance. I mean, right? I can do without the Bryce Dallas Howard or whatever her name is. Whatever. I can do without that. <laughs> I can but do without the, the. It was her first time directing anything. Right. Uh, shows because it's it's very it's very simple it's, um you know I, I know favreau was in there like trying to help her uh direct the action scenes so essentially it was you know i think they all stuff probably came from like iron man and mm, stuff like that i think they all kind of like lended help when it, where it was needed in in everybody's episodes, you know, suggestions, yeah. conversations. I don't know. I, I liked it all though. You know, I don't. Yeah, like I'm not. I'm not complaining about any of it. I'm. I thought no, I neither am I. But there there were some things that, like the the hissing Twi'lek. Oh yeah, that was a little much. The girl. That was like somebody should have just been like, all right, uh, you don't need to. You're not a vampire, like. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I wasn't thrilled with her look either. I'm not gonna lie; like she wasn't. Yeah. I don't know. There was just something off about it. She didn't quite pull. And she's a good actress. Together for me, I know, right, right. I, I, I just don't feel like it was her prosthetics did her justice. And right. I, I really would have liked to have seen her, Oof. like, pull together that Twilight feel. You know what I mean? Right. Coming from the the pro, what are you doing, Twilight? Right now, cosplayer. What are you What are you doing? I'm not a pro Twilight cosplayer. You're Where ridiculous. You? What What are you doing right now? Um, what's that? Doing his doing like his eyelids and stuff. What's what? Bugman's glow. Oh oh. Gotcha. Frank, you didn't like that episode. Come on. Bill Burr made that episode. Yeah. I mean, who who knew he could act at all? You know? He was he was in Breaking Bad. He was? Yeah, he was uh one of Saul Good. Yeah, he was yeah. the he was the guy that hung out with Yule. Yep. The redheaded dude, and he was the guy in the truck in the train episode. I must have missed that. Or not. It, it must not have registered. Right. You're like, oh, it's some random redheaded guy. Neat. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Even though I am a fan, I think he's funny. Yeah. I just thought it was... I, look at these shoot. I wasn't a stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. Right. Smart ass. Yeah. 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 I mean, that part was... I like that little bit of... Yeah. Shitty, <laughs> you know. But yeah, the shitty Bill Burr you come to know and love, you know. The fucking jerk off. He's he said he's you know he's talked shit about Star Wars fans, you know, like he doesn't get it and whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but he's you know after he did that episode, he said you know people come up to me and they say the nicest things and they're just like everyone everybody's super cool and. You know, that's because you're cool, Bill Burr. That's right. How about it. That's right. <clears throat> I so I have... feel, I feel like that Obi Wan show only needs to be one season, though. Hmm. 
Like, I don't want multiple seasons of Obi Wan. Why? Yeah, I think it is only going to be one. Why do you? What do you have against Obi Wan? No, I love Obi Wan, but I feel I don't feel like there's a lot of story. We like, ever do to you, man? I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's like everything. Um, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of story there. You know, oh, it's really? like. Yeah, I mean, dude's just on a desert, like basically babysitting a little fucking baby <laughs> on, from man. afar, he's... like a creeper. So he's going to be experiencing the world as it falls into the hands of the Empire, especially on the Outer Rim. I mean, the, a... Luke, the Luke thing is just going to be is just going to be like a, 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 a side thing for him. I mean, unless there's people that come looking for him. He's getting so oh, man. Look how big he's getting. Look how big he's getting. Oh my god. Or uh let's see yeah. what else. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, you have to admit there isn't a whole lot of story to tell there. I don't know, man. T- t- mm. Tales from the Cantina might might have some stuff in there. Maybe he meets a woman. I'm interested. I really am. Right. I want to I want to see this. I, I Obi Wan's a great character. I can't... he is. He's the only Jedi that's worthwhile. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not the true. rest of them are fucking trash. Not Who, who's on. who's worthwhile? Ahsoka, so like, Yoda. Ahsoka's is cool. Yoda, he's all right. <laughs> like Yoda's cool. I like Yoda. Like Plo Kloon, he's kind of cool. I dig him. <clears throat> but the rest of them, they're all a bunch of fucking dickheads. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of do. Like Mace Windu, dickhead. <laughs> he's supposed to be, though. I don't, I don't see it that way. Say guess. what again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just not a big Jedi fan. I think they're kind of, I mean, I like Obi-Wan because Obi-Wan's kind of cool. Um, I like Ahsoka, you know, and there's some random ones that are pretty cool that like just, through, you know, through Clone Wars. But overall, I'm kind of, I'm kind of done with, with the Jedi stuff. You really? know what I mean? Yeah. Sh- show me more of the, like the underside, like the huts. Um, show me more of that gritty stuff. I don't mind if a Jedi is like in a cast, but like let let's stop with the main Jedi characters. You know what I mean? Mm. No, I don't. But I'm sure someone out there understands. <laughs> really? So you're like you you just want more Je- more Jedi all the time? I want more of all of it, but I am a I am a big Jedi fan. Yeah. Okay. All right. I definitely have some deep rooted love for Jedi. Okay. <laughs> and but I do agree with Frank, less humans. I'd like to see more more alien culture. Yep. Yep. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I'm I, Hear I'm, us now, Hasbro. Like I, yeah. less fucking humans. <laughs> I'm definitely a bigger Wookiee fan than I am a Jedi fan. Oh yeah. Well, like that's that's not even a contest. Let's be totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, it's not, they're not even playing the same game. No. What are you doing? I'm getting this uh, white off of here. Oh, why? Hmm. Hmm. So now what's that? What are you doing? This is a glaze mm-hmm. that I'm putting in the eyeball. A red glaze? Yep. Why are you putting it in the eyeball? Because it, it, I'm doing a black iris with oh, a red wow. pupil. Yeah, yeah. And then. I just did a yellow eye with a black pupil on the other side. Wow. I, I maybe I should do a blue one. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys I, think? I like it. Blue. I like the two iris. different eye. I like the two different color. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like the two different. 
But should I do a blue iris? No. No, that looks really, really rad, actually. Like what you've what you decided to do right there looks pretty fucking cool. Okay. We'll leave it yellow then. Wow. I'm just going to figure out where to put this. The white? Yeah. This... <laughs> I'm very jealous of your steady hands. I'm not... Yeah, I fucking hate this part. I know, me too. I'm not going to lie. Like, I shake so bad sometimes. <laughs> I still shake. Gotta brace them shits. Make them work with you. Yep. You're gonna yep. fucking anchor yourself. Oh, I, I, I got my I, contacts in, my readers, and I'm looking through a magnifying glass. So I got three different kinds of vision <laughs> <laughs> ending up trying to put this little tiny dot in an eye. Mm. On a scale I'm usually working with, I don't even bother with eyes because you're never going to. You know, unless you're like picking up the model and like staring at it, you're not even going to notice that there's no eyeball. Yeah. You know, there's a little different scale. So true. All right. So you know where the front door is. You don't like it, Mofo. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> I still haven't put the pupils on my poison ivy figure. <laughs> going to take some uh, Reek Land. Flesh shade, the gloss. And I'm going to use this on his teeth and maybe his nose. Huh. Get so it this, that shiny wet. Yeah, so this is like a, it's like a brownish red. Very bloody looking. Kind of. I feel like you need to find a leather jacket for him. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some spikes. Like a yeah. weasel jacket or something. <laughs> Go get the Marvel Legends uh, Ghost Rider motorbike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could probably find one of those characters to use as well as far as like a leather jacket goes. Yeah. <laughs> Greg T is asking, you're coating over the entire pinkish areas? Yep. Yes, sir. I'll be right back. We'll be right here. Yeah, so this is uh more or less a wash. They call it a shade. It's not really much of a difference. It's just a watered down version of the of a specific color or whatever. Um, I might get the uh, it was gloss. I don't want to do that in his ears. Uh, I mean, maybe a little. Uh, I want the other one to do this. Oh, okay. So. So, it probably wouldn't hurt putting his eyes. What about on the part where his ears ripped off? Yeah, I'll be using the other one. Oh, okay. To do that. I'm super hungry right now. Sorry, oh, yeah? that was very random. No, oh, you're good. I go for one of those big ass burritos at that place you took us to. Oh, oh man. Yeah, they have not opened back up. No. Oh, that's a bummer. I know. I'm really sad about it too. They're they're making plans to fix their buildings so it's more of like a like a walk up window situation, but you'll have to order online. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Miss that neato burrito. How about mm -hmm. it, Brammer? 
Now I'm using Nolan Oil. I'm just going to kind of dab his nose a little bit. Kind of mix it with that red. Nah, this is this will dull it down a little bit. Oh, but, okay. Um, I kind of want like a little bit of a splotchiness to his nose. Oh and yeah. And like a dirty. He's a dirty rat. Yeah. <laughs> you dirty rat. <laughs> you dirty rat. What was that from, Kai? I know what you're talking about. That's kind of like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. My brother. Yeah. Dirty red, huh? Yeah, no, that. Um. <sighs> yeah. Dirtying up a little bit here. I'm not gonna go too crazy giving him a wash, but. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Very cool. Jason Lowry in the chat. He wants yeah. a burrito. Yep. Oh, let's see what happens. Ooh, I guess. It's been so goddamn long. I heard. About it. I heard bad news that they canceled the Hershey show, but. Oh yeah, they did. I mean, we'll see what happens in August, I guess. Maybe Nito will open back up by then. <laughs> I don't think we're getting anything this year. I think it's it's going to be a, a zero some year, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately. But ToyCon hasn't canceled yet, right? I, I, uh, RetroCon did. I think Toy Con's the only one that's left. Yeah, that's the know. one with the Legion Con situation. Yeah, I don't I don't see that happening though. What is this yeah. wash called? Greg T wants to know what the wash is called. This is Nolan oil. Oh if you if you guys get into painting, that is a product you need to buy. That's a must buy in any model maker. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Fuck yeah. Get that one and the cloth one. <clears throat> yep. Yep. It is a must. Must, must have. I don't know about you guys, but those those pots like to flip over on me. Mm. So I, I always pour it a little out in like a little, you know, a pallet, something of that nature. And uh, I don't work out of the bottle because every time I do, I end up fucking dumping it uh yeah so i have dumped probably three of these things like this this thing has been washed a few times but it has also been dumped on so i totally hear you totally understand so i saw Somewhere, what I can't remember what we were watching. I want to say we were, we were watching some. What's the guy? Magic, black magic oh, craft. Black magic craft. Yeah. I think we were watching him one night, and he was doing like a live tutorial thing, and so somebody he knows makes um, these little stands that hold the lids open and hold the citadel paint in it <laughs> oh no shit yeah yeah oh i think i've seen something like that. yeah they hold it open so it doesn't flip shut on you because oh. I, I have that problem with them when i use them sometimes yeah and also to prevent like the whole thing from flipping over i'm telling you the wet palette so yeah. the, you know this is my wet palette and I basically just pull my paint from the pot, you know, with a shitty brush. And then I, I can, it, it, um, it waters it down. And I can also, like, if I'm doing a custom color, like if I'm doing a weird highlight or something like that, where I kind of made my own color, mm -hmm. I can just, I can shut that lid. And, it, and when I reopen it, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. You know, and then I don't have to worry about dumping a pot. 
It only works with paint, though. <clears throat> so washes, like, it won't... A wash, you have to pour into, like, a little container. Um, but the paints, it, you know, it, it... it I I love the wet palette. It was kind of a game changer for me when I first started using it. Um, I used to paint off a tile. I'd have, like, a little... A small little tile. Oh yeah, yeah. And See, then I, I almost did it right there. I almost knocked this fucking thing over. It's the it's the size of them, dude. I they're did. like they're taller and they're like off base. Yeah, they like top, the lids make them top heavy too. Yeah, right. I yeah. buy these uh, little six inch paper plates and I set whatever paint right in the middle of it. There you That's go. Right. I'm always knocking shit over. Then you can use the plate to mix your paint or thin it yep. out or whatever. Hmm. Pretty cheap. Little tricks and tips. You want to come up here? We're pretty much done. Um, that thing looks fucking wicked, JD. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah awesome. that's fucking awesome. Yeah. I love the teeth. The two colored eyes are awesome too. Punk rat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll try this one here too. Try see if it's any. What was that knockoff rat show from TMNT? Biker Mice from Mars? Was that it? That sounds, that familiar. sounds familiar. Hey, Brian, <laughs> can you switch cameras for us? Sure. Uh, look at that. Yeah, that's about that's a badass. <clears throat> Amazing. Yeah, it's, I'll take pictures and post them. Um <laughs> kinda <laughs> looks like a Skeksis. Oh, yeah, man. kinda. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Splinter meets Bebop. That's what Frank is. Saying. Actually, yeah, that's that's pretty accurate. Give him some fucking sunglasses. Dude, but, put him on that Cobra Commander body. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, watch, watch, watch this. No, no. Go ahead. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Are you gonna? <laughs> yes. Hold on. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's pretty big. But... Doge. How can I do it? How can I do it? I don't know. Quick. Oh, like it? that. No, I'm not going to be able to get the putty out. Do you want me to do it? I kind of have fingernails oh, right now. I could pierce his ear, couldn't I? Oh, that's Damn it. sweet. <laughs> see here. See if we can make this work. I need a little bit more. I love silly buddy. <laughs> Is that what that is? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're taking and rolling that out on the Sunday comics when I was a kid. And yeah. Yep. Oh, I get back and thinking that was just the coolest shit in the world. No, like... It's great for if you're masking off a, a, you know, if you're painting something and you need something masked off, you can kind of use it as like a masking agent. Mm, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Kind of cool. You're kind of cool. No, I'm not cool at all. Mm -hmm. I just know. I just remembered that I was wearing the same fucking shirt last time I was on here. <laughs> <laughs> so people are like that fucking idiot from B Massachusetts only has one shirt. Okay. <laughs> like, fucking I clown. I think there you go, Brian. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. There it is. Sweet. That's Sweet. Is he, <laughs> does he have riding pants? Yeah, totally. It looks like he's got like the riding pants, you know, the flared out with the riding boots. Yeah. Uh -huh. I dig oh. it. 
polo pants. Is that a homemade Cobra, Cobra Commander there? Yes, it is. Wow. His, his custom G.I. Joe figures are awesome. They're better than the regular G.I. Joe figures. So like I had to sculpt the like shoulder them. pieces on there. and Wow. <clears throat> I mean, it's that's not really anything crazy, but... That's a lot of work, man. Yeah, yeah that looks good. It looks great. It's fun. I just got to do the, the head. I got to finish the helmet and all that. So, all right, we have reached the end of our show for the night, pretty much. Um, all our faithful listeners, hopefully you're hanging in there. Waiting uh, for that prize. Waiting for that prize. So the only thing I have left to do with this is seal it and then I'll gloss the eyes again and the teeth and it'll be set. Um, so let me think of something here. <clears throat> Trivia wise. Do you need me over there? Mm. I got it. When was <laughs> when was the war of eighteen twelve fought? What? <laughs> 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 1824? <laughs> raisins or no raisins? <laughs> no, never raisins. Really? Yeah, I can't stand can't stand them. My raisins. favorite cook my favorite cookie is oatmeal raisin. I'm too. No, I, I can eat raisins in oatmeal cookie. Yeah, okay. Like raisin bran cereal is like the I'd rather eat a fucking slug than that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, well, is it is it the raisins or is it the actual brand cereal? Because oh. that just turns it like you pour your milk in there and you're like, "Wow, I got a I got a bowl full of wet cardboard." Neat. Yeah, it's mm. it's so with, with salty raisins in it. <laughs> All right, yeah. Chuck, ready? Here we go. Um, Frank, you already won, so um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Don't be shouting stuff out here. So, this is one of Chan's favorite characters. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thistlethorn. Okay, yep. Yeah. Who does he serve? Oh. Who does number two work for? Yeah, get that, that turd hell, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Lowry says, "Yeah, mama." <laughs> Close. Turns to poop. <laughs> Uh, let me be a little more specific. Uh, a character. He. Mm, hold on, I'm not waiting until right there. Is that right? I'm pretty. Yeah, Greg T got it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good job. All right, Greg. The answer is Queen Artemis Silver Cord. Mm -hmm. Queen Artemis Silver Cord. Is she the one with the wings? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Bow and arrow, too. And the antler that headdress. That one right there. That's oh, her. yeah, her. She's like the yep. main artwork on the back. There she is. Good job, Greg. Yeah. Good job, Mr. 
First time listening. Live. So, Drew, I guess the um, your your answer was the actual god that she serves. That yeah that the yeah. yeah. But he protects the sword for the queen. I love him. He's my favorite. Yeah. He's, what, he's, what, what is his head of? What is he supposed to be? He's like a, a chipmunk. They call him a forest uh, goblin. goblin man. Yeah, he's woodland a goblin. goblin. Yeah, see. Okay. Like a little yeah, chipmunk. Yeah. He's got a little mohawk, too. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. got big, giant, pointy ears like a goblin. Yeah. No, you're not, Drew. You're not dumb. I, why, is he, why is he still in the box? Um... Well, because this is <laughs> that I have two in the box. Too. Oh, one of them, one of them signed by all the guys except for one. Three out of the four horsemen, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I want to take it with me next time and get them all to sign it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's. I just love his little face. It's so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the only character that used that face. Mm -hmm. Uh Craig uh or yeah, Greg T. Um I what don't know up? if you have uh social media, but feel free to look us up on Facebook and shoot us a message through the shelf gravy page and we'll get this out to you, man. Congratulations, you and Frank. Um these pieces are courtesy of uh, my action figure customs. Um, so thank you, Mr. Post. We are yeah, forever definitely. grateful. Um, yeah. And uh, <laughs> definitely stay tuned for coming weeks. Um, he sent us a nice care package. So we'll be giving stuff away uh, each and every show. And then... Um, also, on breaking the mold, we'll be doing the same thing there too. Um, what were you doing? I, I want to show Brian something real quick. Oh, she wants to show you something real quick, Brian. Oh, there. Let me. Uh, let oh. me turn your camera off. No. <laughs> Here. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So, like. The G.I. Joe stuff, right? Look look at JD's. Look at this. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's not Wendy. No. 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 It's actually Kitty Pride, but. but look I, at that. I sculpted a shit ton of stuff on her. Yeah, man. Put stars on her gauntlets and. That's a cute little redhead that doesn't look like Wendy. That's way good, man. I dig it. And then look at this. Shame on my Wendy. Oh, yeah. Zorana. Yep. That's great. Does she smell like Marlboro Reds? <laughs> <laughs> I bet she do. I bet she does. She's got that, that trash. I even, like, I even like had to make the rifle. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so it's cool. like a Star Wars rifle, and I think I used the staff from Zuvio. <laughs> And like maybe another part in there. That's I, that's probably why my my expectation is so high for for, for the Hasbro, Hasbro stuff. Yeah, Check screw out. Hasbro. I want the JD line. Right, Zartan. Oh, Zartan. Can anybody oh. guess what those uh, shoulder pads are? Lee mm. press on nails. Correct. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. And I even even gave him a backpack. Yeah. Sweet. That's great, man. So. Mm -hmm. Let's have a... Fun stuff. Just need his uh, cycle. Yeah, his little swamp buggy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a few others, but those are probably my favorite ones. I thought I'd show you. That was a amazing. Yeah, not, great work. Not to mention... You know, like you see him. Like, look, look at that. Yeah, she she took um, 
what is that embroidery gold, gold embroidery thread and yeah and did she the... braided it and gave him his little wow whatever the, the commander rope curly q the rope yeah. it turned out really good though i like it and that and... all this was was a uh black series krennic and okay. then I, yeah yeah and i That's did it. a little bit of sculpting on it fixed his belt a little bit uh, the hand, the arms, uh, so from the elbow down, they're Death Star troopers. Yeah. Now, where do you go to get parts to like mix and match? You just yard sale, five below, whatever you can find. Uh, I mean, really, whatever I can find. Yeah. So sometimes it would just be going to shows. Yeah. And just. Like you know, if, digging if I, through bins. Yeah, digging through yep. bins. People that have shit for like five bucks or ten bucks or you know, I'll be like, hey, I'll take all these for X amount of money, you know what I mean? I'll yeah. Full of characters I know I can use. Right. So yeah. I got my fat boy Mando coming, so um that's gonna be my next nice. he's nice. fun. He's fun. <laughs> yep. But anyway, I wanted to show you those. Brian. Yeah, those are fantastic. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you guys, he's got him up there by his checkpoint Charlie thing, right? Yeah, oh. yep. Yeah, that's one of my favorite dios that he did too. Hey, did you see it? Like, look at her. Oh, yeah. the, the I did the one. bow and arrow. Oh, you were showing the, mm -hmm. the stars on her gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, sorry. I like that a lot, man. Yeah. She's fun. But yeah, so <clears throat> sharing, anyway. sharing stuff. What about everybody else? Did everybody finish? Well, I got my uh, old Wookiee gray. He's gray. Nice. So then it's just going to be a matter of uh, some washes, some dry brushes, and he'll be done. And that'll be the first crew member for my own little Star Wars crew. Nice. Nice. And then maybe I'll build a ship to scale. I don't know. See how Ooh. far down that rabbit hole I want to go. That's ah. That sounds like a fun yeah, project. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> I, I want to watch that. You're yeah. your man in that show. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, probably be a lot of fucking cursing. <laughs> yeah. That's, okay. hey. That's a lot of gravy. <laughs> That's a whole lot of gravy. Like I, I was thinking about I'm like, do I want to make it so I can like pull it apart and there's like different compartments? Dude, I mean, you, could, you could do some crazy shit. There's a lot of options there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for another time, for another bet channel. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Mike? You get done? I got a lot of progress, not quite done. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I you can see it a lot. Very good. I just, I just got his eye whited out right now, a little bit of dry brushing. More I like that do. skin tone, man. That That's really sharp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. And teeth. Nice. Then I just took all the all the boots, wherever they have horns, I put a little coat of it's kind of like a tannish off white. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'll eventually hit that with some uh I got some brown, what's it called? Agrather shade. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I got these in the mail today. Yeah, oh. buddy. Those are the my action figure customs heads. Yeah. I love those. Those look so Feel good. It. It's, I got one more coming. I got all three of them in this scale, but I'll be working what, on those next. What bodies are you going to put those on, Mike? Uh, Not quite sure yet. I feel like you need I something think, spindly and kind of. Yeah, like an elf body would work mm. good. Um, I have... Uh, What's that guy's name? The the shit. Hold on. This dude. 
Yeah. I got an extra one of him. Oh, the what's his name? Uh, Grisha the Slither. Yeah. Grisha the Slither. That's that would work really well, actually. That's a good figure for something like that. Yeah. He's one of my he's one of those figures that when I first saw him, I'm like, eh, it's the helmet's kind of weird, but you know, once I got him, I'm like, oh hell yeah. No, I saw yeah, that. I'm so like, glad I got it. Yeah. Yep. I saw Armor. that. I'm like, I have to have him. I see a Boba Fett <laughs> custom. Yeah, yeah. But people had already done it, so didn't do it. I'm, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that old boy orc with the beard. Ooh. He hasn't come out. Yeah. I got him on pre-order, so. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You, you did a Magneto custom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll just send you pictures from. Well, no, you, I sent it to the chat, didn't I? The Magneto. I don't know. It's downstairs. Anyway, mm-hmm. Brian, what'd you get done tonight? Um, I'm almost done with my spreadsheets. Oh. I have uh, one more to make, and then I submit it, <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, let me get Mike off the screen. There you go. <laughs> <clears throat> We wanted to watch Mike building construction watch Mike, things. Watch Mike watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for showing guess, us uh, your skills again, JD. Yeah. No. Absolutely. It turned out really, really cool. Thanks. Yeah. We're just having fun, right? Bunch of well, I, I just like how you don't just do. You know, it's not like a human head, and then you know. You know, I feel like you have the vers- versatility, like you did the undead piece last time. You did the rat man this time. What's what's in store next for show what's Gravy? Next? Mm. What's next? Mm. Well, guess, guess you'll have to tune in to find out. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So but, much gravy. So, so much. much. <laughs> Never have enough. Gravy for everyone. Mm-hmm. For everyone. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, with that, <laughs> how about uh, we say our goodbyes and tell everybody where they can find you and get out of here? We'll get on out of here. Uh, Matt, so you can find me on Facebook under Matt Hurd if you like. You can friend request me, see what my asshole dog is up to. <laughs> um, <laughs> And you can also find me on one to, a podcast called One Too Many Podcasts, and that's a bi-weekly podcast. We don't really have a topic per se, so if you're like, oh, when are they going to talk about Transformers? Answer is we don't. So we talk about stuff that's going on in our lives and what's, you know, Looney Tunes and movies and media and that sort of stuff. So One Too Many Podcasts, you can find me on there if, if you so desire. Awesome. Mr. Mike. Uh, Mike Wells in the Facebook. Uh, Mike's Toy Madness on Instagram. And in the chat Monday and Tuesdays on Enter the Realm or Breaking the Mold. And but he- you're not Mike. You're not Mike in there, though, right? You have a code name. Oh, Rogue War 71. <laughs> yes. A code name. I like that. Code name. <laughs> a nom de plume. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brian, where can they find you at? Uh, you can find me at Brinklizer on Instagram. And uh, let's see, Breaking the Mold in the Realm here. And, of course, Vega Banging. Every night of the week. You can yeah, all just, over the YouTube. You <laughs> just tune into this channel. You can find Brian. <laughs> Looking or lurking yep. around. Pushing buttons. Where's yeah. Brian? Where's Bri- oh, there's Brian. <laughs> There and his amazing Castle Grey Skull. I kind of want one now, dude. You get it? You do I, want I, one? Yeah, I, I fucking didn't. I really there, didn't. There we go. But, there. but I see it every week, and I it it like just sets off the room like the dude's carpet, Brian. Yeah, it just ties oh, the room together. That looks good. Oh, man. <laughs> get this thing, man. You got to get this thing. Just nobody pee on that thing. All right. Yeah. Come on, look at it. It's, it's fucking so amazing. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. And it's sturdy, man. Like, open. Freak, 
brick Doesn't by brick thing. In it. Get it. <laughs> God it. damn it. I'm still waiting for the damn GameStop to get them. <laughs> no, I just get it from Amazon, dude. You'll get it cheaper. Fuck yeah. GameStop. So I'm, I'm looking to pull the trigger on that snow speeder, though. Yeah. That's my favorite, favorite vehicle from Star Wars, and I'm just like, oh. Hmm. Hmm. I got to mug some more old ladies, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys. Where, where can they find you at? Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook. <clears throat> around sharing stupid memes and taking retarded pictures of us. <laughs> oh stop it. <laughs> and, oh those uh, are cool. Right You're here. sweet. Sitting um, right next to me. And you can you can find me on Xbox and Instagram if you really want to look for me in those places <laughs> as Pocket Wookie. Um you can find Xbox. me on Xbox yeah, man. Live. I'm playing some Destiny 2 with JD. Um anyway <laughs> Um, and you can find me on Enter the Realm on Monday nights with Brian and all the lovely jackals on, on the show, uh, here with you guys on Wednesdays, every other Wednesday, and uh, Thursday nights on Total Package Podcast with the ladies talking crap and embarrassing ourselves and everyone else in the process. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Check it out. 8.30. <laughs> we go live and... Nothing is off the table. Please ask any questions you want. We will answer them, unfortunately. Or fortunately. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Nobody's dared. Nobody has dared to start asking questions yet. We are waiting very patiently. <laughs> uh, is that a challenge? Please. please. I'm going to have yeah. to make an alt account. Double dog. <laughs> anyway. So that's where you can find me. Where can we can find you? Where can everybody find you? Um, you can find me trying to not sit on my ass because my tailbone is like just hurts all the time Hi, from sitting because you know I make my living from the seat of my pants. Anyway, you can find me <laughs> Tuesday nights on uh, Breaking the Mold. Um, Wednesday nights here. Uh, every other Wednesday here, um, <laughs> Jason. Wednesdays, <laughs> figure banging. So next week will be a new figure banging, um, which is fun. You guys should. Uh, anybody that hasn't tuned in or checked it out, it's a, you know, we I essentially make fun of a, a a new toy while Ace. Well, we make fun of Ace while he reviews a toy. It's so. making fun of Inception. It's Inception making fun yeah, of yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I will say that I did learn some how to transform some things. <laughs> and and how not to break some and things. Break yeah, you, you can learn how to break them too. We pray for him to break toys on that show. <laughs> anyway. Break it. But uh yeah, JD Brocious on the Facebook groups. Um Really, the only groups I frequent anymore is the Cabal and Realma Collectors. Uh, Pigment Surgery on Instagram and Xbox Live if you want to play some Xbox or look at tattoos or whatever. Just talk about bullshit. I don't care. It's cool. And uh, Shelf Gravy. Yeah. So We'll have... Uh, some new stuff coming up soon. We we have some soft goods that need to be put into a pre-order status, and we just haven't. No, things have just things have been crazy, but soon enough there will be some some things available that capes. Yeah, capes, cloaks, and yeah, I need some capes. Yeah, I've got I've got one for Zylona that's. I, I have the pattern down. I'm working on a one for the Mandalorian soft goods for the six. What about baby. Lando? I yeah, need to need do a Lando. a Lando cape. Yes. It's a matter of finding the proper, proper fabric. So now is this is this people size cape? I can actually make people size capes. I would take special orders for people hmm. size. Yes. 
<laughs> I think I'm going to bring back the cape. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, this is going to be fucking brilliant. I, I, brilliant. I'm going to make JD a Jedi robe, so, I mean, why not? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, we can just all show up the next time there's a convention with, like, capes and cloaks. And all different. <laughs> like, Brink, yeah. Brink's a royal guard. Matt's rocking the Lando I, cape. I think Brink's a Jedi robe. I think he's well, like, actually, more, yeah, like Obi-Wan okay. type. I can see that. <laughs> I'll take a dressed to Urden cape. Yeah. But anyway, we're dragging Very this cool. on. Like Very cool. Night. Um, <laughs> thank you everyone in the chat for participating tonight. Um, thanks, thanks for everybody at watch. Tune in, whether you're here live or um, after the fact. We appreciate it. We love you. Thank you, definitely. And uh, thank you to Mr. Uh, William for the uh, the giveaway stuff. And yeah, mm -hmm. tune in next time. Tune in Breaking the Mold next week. We'll have more stuff. And uh, yeah. Say goodnight, Maisie. Goodnight, Maisie. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>